All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in the house with a yellow day energy. Yum, yum, here with me for a review and we're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this little fella. But hey, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying this kind of stuff that I'm bringing to you guys. So check this out. This Yellow Day Energy made in Canada. Uh, fantastic packaging. Love it. It's really, really cool. You got a protective case. It's a carry case. Uh, this guy comes with uh, uh, some extra hardware. It's just a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous thing. And uh, there's like some padding going on, uh, like a cat out foamy thingy. You got your toy, of course, and uh, and boom, you store it, you zip it up and you're you know, you're good to go uh, traveling or whatever with your uh, uh, favorite uh, uh, fidget toy. And that's pretty cool. And then inside, you're gonna find this uh, uh, slider over here, which is uh, made uh, of basically two pieces. You have a base and the top. They, there's uh, magnets, uh, of course, uh, underneath here. And you can see that uh, they match nicely. And this is the copper version. And uh, let's quickly check uh, uh, the size so uh, it has uh, a width of 1.23 inches and a height of 1.94 with a thickness let's say right here in the thickest point of uh, 0.61 inches and uh, we can also check how this guy compares for example with the Milkia from ACEDC uh, here you got uh, the uh, Mahjong um, from Tom EDC. This is your One Woo Camera M slider. Um, another AC EDC, that's the Gamer uh, slider also. Uh, what else can I show you? Of course, uh, that's the Muji capsule uh, slash crucible uh, spinner right there. Uh, of course, how can I not show you this bad boy? I mean, come on. Uh, this is the Zirkutai Fab Blades Edition, um, Bulletproof Shield. Another couple you wanna see maybe? Yeah, why not? Because we got this here. Uh, here you have uh, the, the Compoform uh, click bar. And lastly, but not uh, least, look at this, beauty. Uh, this is the Black Mirror Design Telephone Dial in Zirk um, uh, material. So really, really cool indeed. But here we are talking about Yellow Day Energy Yum Yum. As you can see right over here, uh, fidget slider. This is an interesting one. So um, it is sliding because of the track that is here, as you can see. Um, it's uh, attracted because of course the magnets underneath that. It's made of copper. It has a very, very interesting and symmetrical on a diagonal uh, design. So you can just do this and nothing is gonna happen. Nobody will ever know. Uh, then you see nice milling lines and this copper piece. Uh, you got these pretty, pretty deep grooves and they're gonna be the ones uh, allowing you to just slide this toy because you're gonna get some grippiness uh, from this uh, surface here. Not so much on this one. Of course, this is a numbered piece. That's the number 17. I'm not sure how many are made of these guys, but um, this is just a slider. So there's no clicking, there's nothing. And there's no, um, there's no track. I mean, there's just like a scalloped area here and this guy just slides freely. So, um, there's uh, some good things and some bad, like for example, uh, this guy, um, you know, it just slides, but like that, you see, it can just fall. Like in this, when the, the magnets are, you see, like that, it just tends to fall. So if you're standing on a concrete and you just do like that, yeah. This is gonna get uh, um, dinged for sure. Or the other thing you can uh, it can happen is like if you slide it like down because there's like in this one you have one, two, three, four, five states and that's it and then slides down. So there's nothing to catch here like a pin or something inside a track. Uh, like for example, you would have here. So something like uh, where is it? like here? You see you have like a pin right here. You have a track. So this guy cannot fall off, Can I mean, cannot just keep sliding down. So that could be an implementation, a suggestion for a future version for this fella. But the, the good thing is that when you just leave it up like that and you let it slide down, this guy is like super pleasant. You know, it just wants to fall. You keep your finger like that. So it's just gonna, you see like that and fall 
like this so you won't lose it on the like falling on the ground so that's a good thing it's a very very but you see look at that so it tends to fall off and that's not a good thing I think it's just uh, it looks like more like a prototype uh, um, and uh, it's nice it's really heavy actually there is room for improvement for sure because the concept is very good so there's some good stuff in this uh, uh, the weight probably it's a little bit too much 5.77 ounces is no slouch um, I really like the design the idea it's great I like the, the fact that you know you can uh, uh, use this just uh, taking like advantage of gravity so this guy just falls down like that and it's good but uh, as a slider like this it's probably too heavy after a while your hand gets tired you know uh, that's why I'm thinking maybe some skeletonization some weight reduction uh, some uh, pin uh, getting in uh, like to avoid the, the fall of this it would be maybe a dovetail actually you do just a dovetail mechanism here so you cannot have like this guy tipping over and that's problem solved so uh, because it's a good uh, uh, it's a good option a good toy nice packaging a little bit heavy I love the design but it's not perfect so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and stay tuned